is your first alert five weather with Alan Rose. And folks, don't be alarmed. We have thick smoke all across southern Colorado this afternoon, not because of any new active wildfires burning in our part of the state. It's that Cameron Peak fire up in Larimer County, which has blown up to more than 89,000 acres. Look at the scene here in Bennett Avenue, downtown Cripple Creek. Very thick smoke now. By tomorrow night, Wednesday morning, it's possible we pile up as much as 8 to 12 inches of September snow across parts of Teller County. And here is the reason for it, tracking this very powerful developing cold front. You can see on the north side of it, we have snow and a little bit of a rain snow mix for parts of southern Montana, Wyoming, even into Idaho. This system is moving south and it's going to push that big, large and in charge ridge of high pressure that brought us the record heat yesterday and the very hot, smoky weather today out of Colorado at least for a couple of days. The big story initially will be some powerful wind gusts. This is the Futurecast wind gust model. Look at the northerly winds picking up right around 10 o'clock tonight. I think we'll see those strong winds pushing into Woodland Park and Monument, Colorado Springs. The front pushes south into Pueblo County as we make our way towards midnight. Wind gust around 40 to 50 across the region, but I think we'll see higher gusts than that across parts of southern El Paso County into Otero, Crowley counties, also Pueblo County. Those spots are going to be under a high wind warning late tonight through the morning hours on Tuesday. And in these areas, again, wind gust could be as strong as 50 to 60 with isolated gust up near 65 miles per hour. Tonight, still on the south side of that front, so it's very hot out there once again. Triple digits for Lamar, 90s in Pueblo and Walsenburg, 89 currently in the springs. But take a look at the next 36 hours. Huge drop in temperatures we've been tracking since last week. You can see during the day on Tuesday, it's actually warmest around midnight. Temperatures falling throughout the day, hovering in the mid to low 30s, then down to the 20s to make our way into Wednesday morning. So a breakdown of the storm that's heading our way. The wind first, we get a rain snow mix Tuesday morning. It's going to turn to all snow in most areas after lunch with the heaviest snow expected as we head towards Tuesday night. We also have a few weather alerts for wintry weather conditions. The purple is a winter weather advisory from late tonight through noon Wednesday. And this pink, which covers a large part of southern Colorado, is a winter storm warning. So here's how the snow times out again. Initially, there's a lot of warm air to work with, so I think it's going to be a rain snow mix and it looks like most of the moisture stays in the mountains or areas in northern El Paso County through about the lunch hour and then that rain and snow begins to shift to the south. This is the banding of the heavier snow, which I think moves in tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow night with bands of heavy snow into very early Wednesday morning. So in terms of impacts, the drive home tomorrow night looks messy. Wednesday morning looks messy as well. We'll continue with a few scattered snow showers Wednesday afternoon and some of these snow totals haven't really modified this map a whole lot since last night. I think they're pretty similar to what Sam showed this morning. 7 to 11 possible for Monument. 10 to 15 inches Levita to Rye, 2 to 6 Pueblo, 3 to 7 in the springs. Heading into Tuesday night and Wednesday morning, it is a freeze warning which could produce an end of the season freeze as we heard from Colette for some of our farmers out there in southern Colorado. Overnight lows tonight down to the 30s and 40s, but again, the lows and highs aren't going to be all that different for the next 24 hours. Tuesday night, we're down to 27, back up to about 38 Wednesday. Still some spotty showers. The system slowly pulls into Wyoming Thursday afternoon. Finally, some drier, more seasonal weather to make our way towards the weekend. Pueblo, a rain-snow mix. A mess of wintry weather Tuesday into Wednesday with some lingering showers Thursday. Some cold highs and very cold lows for this time of the year. Canyon City, it's not completely unusual to get snow in September, but we don't see it that often as we know. We'll see highs in the 40s, lows in the 30s the next couple of days in Woodland Park. Highs near the freezing mark Tuesday into Wednesday. Could see more than a foot of snow. Parts of Teller County, Allison, over the next 24 to 48 hours. Brace yourselves for it, folks. Winter is coming. I 